That's true. And also, Wolf has a great projectile of his own. Like, laser's really, really good. Or Wolf, Wolf has a gun. Yeah. They're getting right. I wonder... So I'm wondering, when, when are we going to finally see the new stage added to the, to the list, Small Battlefield? Yeah, so with DNA's new rule set, uh, Small Battlefield is now a starter stage, with Town and City being the only counter pick. Unova is dead. Yeah. Honestly, with with small battlefield, I don't I don't see the need for Unova anymore. But anyway, um, I didn't see the need for Unova in the first place. But Jameson, or sorry, uh, PK Free is already connecting with a very nice PK Rocket from a, quite a lot of damage elsewhere, and Jameson is finding himself at an early early deficit. Yeah, PK Free really came out of the gate swinging, tacked on a lot of early damage. So see if he can keep his momentum going and, and uh, secure a kill with a little bit of a shine right there but this ain't melee he's not going that far wolf flashing back to stage but why would you get up into that getting caught by pk rocket and jameson goes down two stocks to three very early in this game oh okay yeah good wolf flash to counteract the thunder so one thing that pk breach is doing really well is he's immediately just finding opportunities to throw wolf off stage where you know pk thunder does really really well to edge guard wolf Back right there on the PK rocket, but Jameson just completely drops the ball in the punish. Doesn't even get the F smash on the land. Uh, he's he's struggling, struggling hard. Gonna get caught, almost caught by that PK freeze right there. He's able to just sit there confidently with uh, with reflector up, not take anything from it. Laser <laughs> laser right into the PK magnet. That's some three percent right there for PK freeze. Oh okay. Gets caught I, holding Reflector way, way too long off stage. He's just too afraid of PK Freeze right now. And he got punished for it right there. Oh my goodness, he went for an up smash. Like, hard read there. It does have invincibility. Very slight, but I don't know. Maybe trying to use that to beat out an attack. Getting thrown off stage in the exact same way for like the fourth time this match. Yeah, Jameson's using Wolf's up smash to ledge trap, which is, which is a pretty good tool to ledge trap, but the problem is he's. Being Not if you do yeah. it every time, yeah. yeah exactly, you, got, you still gotta mix it up. Finally taking the first stock of the game, catching him with back air right there. But the way this is going right now, I don't want to count him out too early, but it is looking like Jameson is not going to be taking game one. Yeah, it's like, PK Free is just doing a really good job, just like, countering tech all his approaches and stuff. No DI on the down throw right there, so he is going to get caught with that classic wolf down throw dash attack follow up. Oh man, PK Freeze really wants his up smash. Oh, but he <laughs> finds his up smash, and that's gonna take game one for PK Freeze. Roll behind up smash, the classic. It really is. Yeah, so I think going into the next game, Jameson's gonna have to uh, update his dead guard or ledge trapping plan. Gonna try to maybe mix in some more grabs. Could he keep shielding the up smashes? So then, like those missed up smashes are giving PK Freeze the opportunity to throw him off stage, which is the place where Wolf struggles. So yeah, so getting literally every single time he tried to edge guard, he just sat there on ledge up smashed, and PK Freeze just got up, grabbed back through uh, PK Thunder, and Jameson suffered. He suffered hard for it. Yeah, a lot of a lot of missed opportunities there. So hopefully Jameson can uh, bounce back from that and uh, adjust for the next game. That remains to be seen. I, again, I don't know either of these players well enough to to predict maybe counter picks, uh, but I'm going to assume that we are going to see the same same characters. Uh, but with the the way the rule set is working out right now, I think Small Battlefield could be a good counter pick for Jameson right here. A lot less room for PK Freeze to sort of run away on. Uh, no room to get zoned out, and he'll also be able to uh, to catch some really good conversions with the the distance that Wolf can just straight up abuse. Yeah, I can, I can kind of see that. Yeah, I can definitely agree. Maybe some trying to play the boxing game a little bit more might be Cause... more in uh, Jameson's favor there, and uh, Small Battlefield might allow him to do that. I've always said uh, Wolf excels in just about every area. He's not the best at it, 
a wolf can play as a boxer, he can play as a zoner, he can play as a combo character. Wolf can do all of it. He has the tools to serve in all of those roles, and we're seeing the Mewtwo pick from PK Freeze. Okay. Um, but uh, he, his best role is as a boxer. He can't stay in one role for too long, or he'll get overwhelmed by someone with superior options in that role. So the thing that Jameson got caught up there in was he was just sticking to the same game plan over and over and not adapting, which is why PK Freeze was able to just kind of steamroll him last game. So hopefully on this town and city pick, we'll see a bit more adaptation from Jameson, but off to a 40% start right away with this Mewtwo pick. It's not looking great. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. We mentioned about well basically being a jack of all trades but kind of master of none in a sense so already off the bat oh no <laughs> there it is no nope. <laughs> i was going to say he's looking better than last game because he did practically get zero to death to open last game up but uh with that sd he is not setting himself up to to bring this game to back Catching the fast fall in there oh, in the no. back air. This is town and city, so that was probably pretty close to being a kill, but not quite. Yeah, the, the side platforms are really close to the blast zone, and Wolf's back air is really strong. Coupled the fact that Mewtwo is really light, you know, stuff like that could happen. <laughs> and stuff like that did happen right there. At 51% with just two moves, that fully charged Shadow Ball did him no favors, but. Side B into F Smash right there is going to take the stock pretty early. Uh, I don't know if that was a combination of bad DI uh, or just Town and City being Town and City. Yeah, it can, it can be hard to tell. I don't even know if like the combo itself is true. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought he was going to go for like a, a down air or something. Yeah, PK yeah. Freeze seems to be like pretty willing to go for some like hard call out to like this entire set. Ooh, oh, but fast falling right into that F smash right there. I don't know if we can call that a read or if he was just kind of mashing, oh, hoping wait. he would hit it. Okay. That was an option. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, all right, that's it. Just charge like up smash. Yeah. And I thought he was going to hit him with the up smash and end it, but nope. Shadow ball. Oh, hitting the shadow ball. And that's going to give us the critical animation and finish off the game. Uh, PK freeze going to take it 2-0 pretty comfortably over Jameson for this round one.